Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new episode here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. The Ankle's a little mean. So, welcome on in, everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like, subscribe, the comments. So, for today's little random one off video, I'm not sure if we're really going to start covering Nikocado. Maybe. Maybe. But I figured we'll cover this because we've been talking about this a lot in Girl World specifically. This magic, it seems, weight loss that uh, Nikocado has gone through over the past couple of years. Now, everyone was saying, like, oh my God, he had content for two years recorded prior when you go and look on his page that's only like nine videos that he posted within the two years so <laughs> it would be actually rather very easy for him to pull that off and fake that if he could afford i don't know what type of views and whatnot he's pulling so i don't know but let's see let's see guys do we think this is even real or could it be a further troll it wouldn't necessarily surprise me if he came back in like a month or so and uh, turns out nothing actually happened <laughs> weight loss wise. But yeah, I mean, we're always talking weight loss over here. And finally, it seems like someone on YouTube has actually done the damn thing. So yeah, I just wanted to dive on in, kind of rub it in Amber's face a bit too. Like, <laughs> look, girl, this will never be you. That's really all for that. So let's just dive right on into this, shall we, guys? Also, it's not lost on me that the panda head is kind of like, um, oh, what's the girl's name? The mukbanger that he got into a fight with a while back. Completely forgot her name. I don't watch that crap. Anyways, um... She wears this head. You can buy this at Walmart. So there's really nothing, you know, that great about it. But it is a little shady. It is shady. I am always two steps ahead. I mean, I don't know why. Like, obviously something's different down here. So maybe you should crop the video a bit more, Nick. This has been the greatest social experiment also, I feel like when people get called out for their crappy or just like gross behavior, they always say, oh, it was a social experiment. It's a social experiment and you fell for it. Like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> for my entire life, it's alluring. It's compelling. It's gripping. What, what does this lead to, though? What conversation does this carry on or open up? in terms of a social study like what just that people thought you were a clown because you were acting like a clown i don't quite understand that but maybe he'll explain to observe all these unwell disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories I okay i wouldn't necessarily say you're the pinnacle of mental health ideas <laughs> rivalries where they feel encouraged and en this is very much giving the joker right right i saw comments about it before that like this is <laughs> nick's the joker moment engaged where they involve themselves with the stories and become a product of influence who has nick influenced though like, let's be so for real. No one was going out buying those mobility scooters just because he had one. Thirsty for a distraction from time unspent. Your skin also looks really yellow, my guy. That's so mean. But, like, it does, right? He doesn't look healthy, necessarily. And I saw a lot of comments saying, like, I thought that was Trixie Mattel at first. Valid. <laughs> Valid, because I did too. <laughs> but... Even, like, if y'all follow Trixie, you know she's in this, like, health journey, kind of. I'm not gonna lie to you, they both look sick. They both look sick. There's comes a point where you can be too, quote-unquote, healthy, you know? Spoiling their minds, yet stimulating them at the same time. It's very interesting. <laughs> it's brilliant. 
and it's dangerous. Girl, this is weird. This is weird. I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another, follows another, follows another. Oh, so he's the ringmaster. That's what it is. He's the ringmaster. We're just all the little ants. Has the conversation of narcissism been brought up in regards to Nick as well? Because I think there's definitely a certain aspect of it. <laughs> it's mesmerizing. It's spellbinding. All these little consumers. I want to know why your hands are all the same color. Like, how are you a consistent shade of yellow like that? All of these lost and bored people. People consuming anything that they're told to Also, he lost a lot of weight. 250 pounds, you're going to have loose skin and whatnot. Unless he had, like, the body lift and everything. I don't know, because that means he would have had to have the arms done as well. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, and the recovery on those procedures is very hard as well. So, I don't know. I don't know. Do a 360, Nick. Let's see the scars. Zoom. So I am the villain. What cornball. I'm sorry. <laughs> because I've made myself one. And you will continue to consume these stories about me. Year after year after year. I mean, he has a point. He has a point. But going about it in this, you know, <laughs> Heath Ledger-esque way is odd in my opinion for as long as i tell the internet that i am the villain stories that permeate and linger who wrote this for him oh my god <laughs> sounds like a freaking stephen king intro and infect the minds of the ants influence the ants brainwash the ants you. Sorry to keep pausing y'all, but this video is a lot more like psychotic than I thought it would be. People are saying that it is really kind of weird and cringe. I didn't expect it to be this bad. Eesh. Are the ants? No, this is actually freaking creepy, you guys. Shut up. Shut up. This is actually freaking creepy. <laughs> Today I woke up from a very long dream. And I also woke up having lost 250 pounds off of... <laughs> just woke up that way. That's what Amber wishes would freaking happen. She would just wake up and it was all magically gone. My body. Yet just yesterday, people were calling me fat and sick. Well, you still look sick. So there's that. And boring. Well, again... This is quite a boring video, I'm not going to lie. Other than the fact that he appears to have lost the weight. I mean, obviously he's not as young as he was before, but... Eh. Irrelevant. <laughs> this all just seems like a get back at people, you know? Which, listen... I think it is perfectly fine for people's anger and for them to want to prove people wrong to push them in the right direction. I'm a thousand percent down with that. So, you know, people were saying, well, he'll never lose the weight. You know, he's going to die. He's going to this, that. And then he went and he did it. So, Amber, if you're listening, let that push you, girl. But no, no. She would much rather just stay, you know the uh, victim in all of it. 
People. People are the most messed up creatures on the entire planet. Yeah, I'll agree with that. And yet I've still managed to stay two steps ahead. I is it really two steps ahead though? Like is it really? Is it really? I don't think so. Posting like eight or nine mukbangs in two years doesn't necessarily, you know, lead people down the path of like, oh, he was always a step ahead of us. Like, eh, eh, I don't know. But we'll see. He has uploaded mukbangs already now. Like he did one with a mukbanger he used to do videos with back in the day. So, it appears that this is the current avocado. The current avocado, but... <laughs> Who knows, guys? Who knows? Uh, everyone. This is so weird. <laughs> this is so weird. That's why I'm pausing so much, because, like, there's a lot of cringe in this. Not the, like, death rattle in the background. Was that Oren? <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to know how Oren's doing. That's his name, right? Like, what's going on there? Looks on you. Brother, this is weird. <gasps> oh. Mr. Noodle, you're so cute. Yeah, he reminds me of a psycho I knew. <laughs> oh, you're so Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah. You like that. You look like a big green ball. Yeah, you look like a big green avocado. Which is my favorite fruit ever. Yeah. Oh, you're a good bird. Oh, Mr. I always thought a bird would be so cool, like a big parrot, a macaw or something. But those suckers live a long time, okay? I don't even plan being around that long. And they're just like, I'll chill here for 80 years. <laughs> I knew you like that. You missed me so much. Did he have this bird before? You missed me so much, I know. It was eight years. Separate. Eight years? Holy shit. <laughs> or longer. <laughs> I know. How many years was it? How many years? Tell me. How many years were we separate for? <laughs> Too many, yeah. <laughs> I know, my baby. I had no choice. I had you had no choice? I don't believe that. No choice. But daddy's back. Weird. We're, we're back home. Should be do. We're home. Hello. We're back home. Should be do. Okay. Hey. Oh my god, dude. This is somehow more annoying than Amberlynn. I'ma be so for real. And I'm back here with all of you. And it was a long eight years, wasn't it? It was a long eight years. And I didn't think that it would have gone this long, but it did. And it was like a bad dream that, yeah, it was like a really bad dream that we were waiting for it to be over. And... Bro, what? It's over. It was just a dream. It was just a dream, Mr. Noodle, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know, something tells me he got sucked into the lifestyle and didn't want to give it up because of the money and then figured this is another good way to get even more money. Feels like a bad dream. <laughs> um, but we woke up. We woke up. <laughs> yeah. We're so excited. We woke up. Yay! Oh, this guy's like actually a little bit psycho i think just a little bit just a little bit we woke up from the bad dream and um i'm back and mr noodle is back and 
And here we are. We're back home, shibby do. Say good morning, Mr. Noodle. Hey, how's it going? Yo, I don't like seeing that much Nikocado leg. <laughs> there was a while back where some of his nudes from OnlyFans were floating around on Twitter. Y'all. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to my studio for the second time. They don't know that we did this yesterday, but I'm actually going to tell them we did this yesterday. We are redoing the video because <laughs> my file got corrupted. I don't know how. And it had like an error mark on it when I was editing it. I'm like, oh my god. But this is Jesus, that giant freaking plate. Oh my god. The universe tell me I have to eat more, right? Right, Mr. Noodle? You are so cute. How's it going, Mr. Noodle? Did you miss me? Doubt it. Did you miss all the peasants? <laughs> Yo, the peasants? My god. Hey, it's been like eight years. Are you gonna say hi? <laughs> There's no way that, like, pretending to be a bad person or, like, rage-baiting people, there's no way that that doesn't have a negative impact on your mental health, right? Right? Like, even if it's all for the reaction, it has to play some kind of toll on your mental health or your mental just well-being in general because like how are you going to purposefully anger people for years and years and then turn around and like laugh in our faces about it like you were getting the reaction that you were hoping for you know i don't know it's just it's weird <laughs> I might put little pieces here and there when I'm editing this for you guys to kind of see what we did yesterday, which was black bean noodles. But we're going to do it again for a second time. These are my favorite spicy noodles of all time. If I had to choose one, it would be black bean noodles, wouldn't it, Mr. Noodle? Um, I love them. They're so good. And these come from a Chinese Korean place, and they make them hand pulled and they stretch them out by hand. You can see them in the restaurant. Go on. Well, that's usually what hand pulled. Ooh. Oh, Nick, what's going on here? Lordy. See, my issue is it looks like he just starved himself, not like he actually was working out or anything. There's zero muscle mass there. Oh, this is Ozempic. This is Ozempic, a thousand percent. This. They're super chewy. They're very chewy and very, very long. I actually think they cut them to make it easier for you to slurp them. The spicy black bean noodles. They are... Oh, baby. And where does he live? Like, in L.A.? I would assume, I guess. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Even if there was some weird day out there where I had as many subscribers or whatnot as Nick Okado... I'm sorry, there's nothing, nothing in this world that will make me move to L.A. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all know, I'm an East Coast girl. I could never, unless I'm up in like Oregon or Washington, you know, I could never be a West Coast person. I just can't. I need my seasons. I need just the vibe. It's a different vibe. All right, it just is. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you. I really missed you. I missed you a lot, Mr. Noodle. It was a long dream. As I said, that dream has come to an end. It was just... It sounds like a nightmare. It's a dream, thank God. It's all over. We were just dreaming. I just took off the fat suit. Went, yeah, I just took it off, and here I am. <laughs> and, um, I... Bro, can you imagine... <laughs> what that bird says having lived around nikocado for so long <laughs> noticed yesterday when i ate it it had a lot of onion a lot of like vegetables and pork and potato it was so good and we're gonna do it again and i'm really excited and um yeah it's kind of crazy doing this again but that's life we just placed the order so we'll pick it up and then we're gonna have some black bean noodles aren't we mr noodle yeah yeah. He must have leftovers, right? <laughs> Mr. Noodle. I think Mr. Noodle really likes being in here. Oh my god. What's that? That's so much. 
What's that? Mm, no way would I be letting a bird pick at my food. Sorry. Oh, so you get a taste test before I do. This is like- Isn't it spicy too, dude? Maybe don't give that to your bird. Come on. Kind of not fair. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't Orin get beat for that? Oh, Mr. Noodle. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and this is the reason why I never got into watching Nikocado videos. Because this is- I mean, to be fair, all mukbangs I think are gross and I hate, but this type especially, it's just so wasteful. And I think there's an interesting conversation that's been happening lately around wealth and food consumption or rather food wasting in order to present as wealthy. And I think that definitely plays into the whole mukbang situation. My God. Here, let me give you your mush. Well, here. Yeah, maybe get your bird out of the pasta, dude, for your own cleanliness and for that bird. I don't think it should be eating things that are spicy. Try some of this. Oh my god. This is the life. This is the life. Oh my gosh. This looks incredible. I'm gonna be for real, this is not the life. Absolutely not. <gasps> Mr. Noodle. <laughs> oh, I gotta have, this, this is, this, it, this is worth my soul. Bruh, this is trolling. That's what this is. This is worth everything in my soul. He seems to like it too. <laughs> This is why I live life. I love spicy black bean noodles. And um, by the way, if you're new to my, well, Mr. Noodle can't taste spice. They don't have the receptors for it. And actually, spicy pepper is really good for their immune system, so. I don't care. The rest of the crap that's in there ain't good for them. You can't convince me that. The vet and people, they always recommend to give. So I'm just kind of mixing this around since I put those toppings on it. Ew, and the way that he gets it all over his hands. This is gross. But it's incredible. Now, I'm also going to have to put a little bib on because this is about to get real wild. Ooh. You love your mushy peas. Cheers, everybody, to a new era. Is it? Is it a new era? It's just skinny Nick, so now he gets to start over from scratch, essentially. Watch, I guarantee it. He's probably going to balloon right back up. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's most likely going to happen. We were all just dreaming. Did they, like, put him into a coma or something <laughs> for him to lose all this weight? Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all, I don't want to watch this. I don't want to watch this. Mmm. The only reason that Amber Lynn's mukbangs are so not entertaining but at least somewhat interesting is because it has her in it like she's going to say something stupid she's going to say something ignorant that's just what amber lynn does this it's honestly too calculated to be like an honest kind of thing you know it's just it's not as fun it's not fun putting out content that's so heavily confined i guess to this one view or whatever this manufactured view that nikocado wants to give us i don't know it's just odd to me <sighs> mr noodle this is so good wonderful mm.
perfection. It's spicy, it's savory. I'm gonna focus on Newt. Is the camera focused on Mr. Noodle? I want you to like really see here. Put you here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put you there. Mr. Noodle. Oh. I told you they're very long. These Chinese guys, they, they're like pulling them really far in front of you. You can like watch it. There's, I've talked about it before on here, I believe. There's a place up in Montreal in the Chinatown kind of like district. I don't know the name of the place. All I know is it's like along the kind of main, main street. And it looks really shady. It is. Uh, You have to walk down into a basement and then like a little ways and it's right there. But the window, like they are stretching the noodles. It's a ramen place. So handmade ramen right there. It's literally the best ramen I've ever had, you guys. (laughs) Better than any ramen I've had in New York City also. Like it's good. It's good. Wish I could remember the name. Damn. It's all open kitchen type of thing. Um, I think that's part of the appeal. See how long they are? I can't even. I can't even. So bite it, dude. I, I don't even know what to do with this one. How am I going to eat? I'm just going to like have to really slurp. All right. Cheers. Ew. Ew. Want to try some? Oh, dude, this is so gross. Oh my god, I didn't think it could get any worse beyond Amber. And the fact that it's like in a box, just this big box, what the hell? Go ahead, try some. You want my trash stick? Mmm. Mm. Yeah, what the hell? Oh my god. This is definitely probably the one and only uh, react to this we're going to do. I'm going to be so for real. This is so gross. (laughs) Y'all, you better get this video to above 10k views for me to do another one. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. (laughs) No, at least five. <laughs> yeah, we're probably not going to be looking into Nikocado all that much. <laughs> at least just these eating videos. Like, it's gross. It's freaking gross. At least when, like, Orin, Orin or Orlin, whatever his name is, whenever his boyfriend is there, at least, like, there's something. You know? They fight. They argue. It's funny. This? No. Oh, would y'all be mad if I skipped this? Probably. Probably. No, you can't eat my sausage. Hmm. Hold on my shoulder. Actually, let me put you back. This is so good. Ew. Noodle. You're missing out. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> the bird's gone. I'm back. And we're just getting started, which is what's really exciting. It feels good to be back. It feels good to be hanging out with you guys. I'm also going to add a little more sesame seed. I don't even know if it needs much more, but it does add a little flavor. And a little... So much sauce. More spring onion.
He definitely stole those balls. <laughs> and let's go. All right, let's do this. This is what I imagine squid guts looks like. <clears throat> Does he have Oh no, it was just a hair on my screen. <laughs> Yo, I'm an idiot. I thought he had like an earpiece in or something. Listen, I know that in, like, certain cultures, slurping is seen as respectful and whatnot. I get that. Um, but that's not my culture. Sorry. <laughs> like, even Italians. Come on, we don't be slurping like that. It's my favorite noodle. If I ever show up on like one of those quizzes or game shows, what was Nick Cato Avocado's favorite noodle? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that's what's going to be remembered. You'll say black bean noodles, spicy black bean noodles. I do like spicy noodles. I like the spicy chicken one. I like all the spicy instant ramen. But the black. Yeah, I wonder what the like sodium content of this is it's gotta be wild dude noodles is where my heart is it's crazy it also looks really crazy like it looks like tars it does it looks like have y'all ever seen that one chinese shop from it's somewhere in england and it's like help me pack this customer's order <laughs> that sounded so bad. Oh my god. But that's literally how she sounds. That sounded really bad, though. I understand. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Cringe moment, Jordan. But that's what she sounds like. And it's more specifically how she pronounces the word order. She's like, order. <laughs> but they put that crude oil looking stuff on that, too. That was a good, that was a good one. Yeah. Should I be taking smaller bites? Girl, probably. Girl. <laughs> uh, you can tell I'm in gore world way too much. I don't know. I don't really care. I'm just hungry. This has to be leftovers, right, you guys? Someone please tell me it's leftovers. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. How is this enjoyable content for anyone other than fetishists? Right? Like, come on. I'd still rather listen to that slurping than Amber Lynn sucking her frickin' boogers back. I just want to give you a look. It's so good. <laughs> ah, this is not enough. It's probably like 3,000 calories or something. 
That's crazy. And no, I would say it's probably way more than that. Mm. You all know me. I can eat a lot. The thing is, though, dude, if you did use Ozempic or whatever for this, like... Oh, it's gonna... You're gonna stretch your stomach back out so easily. And that's really gonna be a detriment to weight loss. Or keeping weight off, I should say. Okay. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Although, I do highly suspect that quite a few mukbangers, um, I mean, there is the kind of hack, I guess, of a, some of them just chew the food on camera and then they spit it out off to the side. That's disgusting, in my opinion. Um, that's also just wasting food. This is also wasting food. Let's not get it twisted. But... He's obviously eating it. <laughs> obviously. But I don't know. It's just, it's weird, dude. It's weird. And I suspect a lot of mukbangers probably um, ditch the food after they eat it, if you know what I mean. So, side eye. There's that. <laughs> And I would never shame someone, you know, for dealing with bulimia or whatnot. Um, you know, I dealt with that for a while. But eh, there's a difference when you're glorifying this type of eating and whatnot online, you know. <clears throat> oh, that's spicy. Yo. That's spicy. Wow. This is gross. This is gross. What happened to the video of him doing like the giddy walk or whatever it's called? <laughs> mm, the onions, see the raw onions that they add are really good. <coughs> I think it's a Korean thing. Or maybe that's the way the Chinese make, made a spit because this is a, chi a Chinese <coughs> Korean. There's a lot of Chinese Korean places out there, huh? They're, listen, uh, I'm still upset about it. I'm still so upset that the one Chinese Korean place in Vermont that I freaking loved closed down. I'm still so pissed. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm trying not to like, you know, pass away over here. <clears throat> Girl. <laughs> Spice, yeah. This is not enough food. Bruh. This is straight up trolling. I know the pile was like a, a mountain, but I, I could just, I just can't stop eating this. Yeah, that's probably not a good thing. Okay. You can't tell me that there's no, like, sual, you know, gratification from this video on his part or, like, some of his probably more frequent viewers' parts. I don't know, dude. It just seems weird. <laughs> This is certainly a video, Nick. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
I've never seen someone be able to take it down that fast. That's crazy. That's crazy. <coughs> and the little freaking sauce goatee, dude. I'm, re I'm ready to see the Lord. <laughs> Oh. So I, need, this is, this I thought you was going to say I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> this is my like last meal type of thing. Bruh, really? Really? If I were to have a last meal, I'd make them reopen that goddamn Korean Chinese place. <laughs> it really is. Did you, did people know that I like spicy noodle? I mean, people or there was this cafe I think it was in St. Johnsbury. I think. I think St. Johnsbury. In that area. And it was called Dylan's Cafe. They had the best turkey sandwich you will ever have in your goddamn life. But I don't think they're open anymore either. That's the issue with Vermont. Shit doesn't stay open. Like, it's sad. It's very unfortunate. But... Anywhere that is really good and worth eating, they're going to close down probably within a few years. It's so unfortunate. I knew I like spicy noodles, but the spicy black bean, do people know? I don't know if I ever told, like, uh, that degree to relay that information. Look at all the vegetables. I'm looking all the black tar. What the hell? And other stuff. And the fact that he actually uses that as like a spoon. Crazy dude. Is that supposed to be like a plate for serving food? Because it just kind of looks like one of those things that you would put your spoon in on the stove. <laughs> There's nothing to say to anyone right now. Bruh, I don't have any words either, honestly. <laughs> I think we're both pretty speechless in this moment. <laughs> There's nothing to say. Listen, this is going to be a minimal editing video. I do apologize. But if we do continue the Nikocado videos in the future, I'll edit out all the eating and whatnot. We do it with the foodie ones. This you know is... Sorry, the only one that we don't do it with is Amber because, you know, we don't want to miss her stupidity. <laughs> this is my favorite thing in the world. That's sad. On the list of my favorite things, I don't think food would probably be in like the top 10. Please, chopsticks aren't like too loud. It's like scrape, scrape, scrape. I do kind of low-key wonder, though, what those taste like. Because I'm not a huge fan of black bean, like the flavor of it. So I don't know. I'm just going to sit down. <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh, y'all, this is feeling a little hectic. <laughs> Nah, we need to stop that. Amber is not funny enough to influence us like that. Mm. Can someone tell me, are these like... Oh wait, no, he said they're from a place because they make them in front of him. This video's been so long, I'm already forgetting what the hell he said. That's right.
Can you buy like black bean noodles though? Like the pre-made, pre-packaged kind? They don't call me the mukbang king for no reason. Do they call you that? I know how to... Slurp. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew. I can clearly finish my food. Look at all this sauce. What, is he gonna like drink it? I'm back home. Shoot be doo. I'm home. Hello. I'm back home. Where was he to begin with? Didn't he like live over in Asia for a while? I could have sworn he was like in Asia or South America when he first started the channel. Like that would have been a really interesting Nick to follow along with. Not this crap. Shoot be doo. I'm home. Hello. And this is hot and steamy because we're eating noodles. Uh, excuse me. Ew, what the hell was that smile, dude? I'm back home. <laughs> Shit, that was my first burp of the entire video, and I am so sorry. I actually said I don't want to be so ridiculous in this video. It's going to be a little ridiculous because of how messy this is. Alright, that's good. I don't have to get every morsel. I Oh, you don't? I ate all the pasta, basically. I know that's a spicy bite. Oof. Mm. This just reminds me, the one time that I thought my, <laughs> the lady running my internship was actually kind of funny, it's, it was such a small office that me, the lead designer, and then like her primary assistant were working in, and the assistant was slurping big time on some noodles, and God bless her soul, Paola, Paola, I honestly never really learned how to pronounce her name i always just called her miss delgado <laughs> she said to the girl like listen i don't care what your reasoning is i don't want to hear you chewing your food and the assistant said well in you know our culture because she was asian she said it's respectful <laughs> and the designer was like i get that but we're not where you're from we're in america which i know that sounds really like ugh. the lead designer she was from south america so she wasn't even american saying this and i was just sitting there like <laughs> It was just a funny interaction to hear. Honestly, I don't really care unless we're in a tiny room like that. Then, like, please, I don't want to hear people eating and chewing. It's gross, in my opinion. I'm sorry. If I was over in Japan where it is a sign of respect, then a thousand percent. But, you know, we got to be mindful of location, right? Or in your own home. I mean, you know, obviously. I don't know. Why am I trying to like... <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I don't talk myself into a corner on this one. But, you know, just like maybe be mindful.
Wow. I'm patting my lips because... <laughs> you don't want to rub that spiciness all around. They're kind of like <clears throat> all spicy. And if I rub them around too much, it might, might hurt. We did it. You did that. <laughs> you did all that by yourself, Nick. Good job. It took me almost an hour to get through it. Holy Christ. Look how red my lips got. Wow. Um, thanks for watching my black bean noodle mukbang. And I hope you enjoyed your food if you ate with me, which you definitely didn't. Should have, because... Definitely not. That's what mukbang is supposed to be. That's what it was originally for, and that's what I'm trying to bring back to the internet. Yeah? Yeah? Well, maybe it shouldn't be so disgusting then. Like, <laughs> you're turning a lot of people away from wanting to eat, Nick. And I love being a mukbanger. I love food. I like eating food. And I like being here, so... Do you? Let me know what you think. I guess that's it. <laughs> Bye! Oh, I'll see you on my other channel. I'm gonna link it. There's another one? There's a... There's another video out. Don't miss it. I'm gonna link it. Oh, I roll. Should we check that one out, guys? I don't know. Maybe. Down below. I'll see you on over there. Bye. Yeesh. Yeesh. That was somehow not as bad as Foodie Booties, I'll be honest, but that was still pretty rough. Anyways, you guys, this video is so freaking long and I was recording this one for today, so I need to get this edited and scheduled. Thank you so, so much for tuning on in, you guys. I truly do appreciate y'all. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe. Become a channel member. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care.